we looking at you? Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. I think the moment I heard the words fiesta and shalom put together, I was like, this, that's, he's the fiesta. <laughs> and you're the and shalom. The shalom. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have to be here. Exactly. Fiesta shalom! Fiesta shalom! Oh, we like fiesta. And I think around the world we are like shalom, peace. And um, like virtually every religion, every nation has a, a name for peace that's sacred. And um, Fiesta Shalom is, we celebrate peace. The similarities between the Latino culture and the Israelis is just, it's just it's there. Like the, 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 I can say three things, no, out of the top of my head, which is the food, the food, Oh, the food. food. Yeah. Don't forget um, the, the food. food. Besides the food, which is very good, uh, really the warmth. Really the warmth. Uh, the, you know, I worked, for example, uh, starting out as a, as a young lawyer in a, in a law firm in South Florida, where there were a lot of Cuban non Jews that worked there. I always got along very well with the Cuban and the other Latinos because of, there was such a there was such a warmth and a family feel that was more than just a, um, a corporate type of setting. You know, there's so much soul in both communities. You know, there's, there's a long history, there's a lot of uh, uh, the families related, the traditions. I do think that, um, that uh, the Latino community <clears throat> in the United States and possibly in Mexico is not even aware of how many similarities they do have with, uh, with Israel. There definitely is commonality between our communities and many of the things that we've experienced throughout history. And I think those things make us stronger as individual communities. And then we put ourselves together as friends, share not only the common pressures that we have experienced uh, throughout history and society, but the common victories, the common things that uh, we have all overcome together. During the Nazi period, uh, we didn't let the Jews in. And it was Latin American countries that did. We forget that. And um, people lived there for a period of time and they moved here. So many people in the United States don't really know that there are there is a common bond, there are common roots between uh, Israeli, many Israelis, many Jews, and many Hispanics in, in the Latino community here. My, my name, for example, is Lopez. It's not a very common name in Israel, but uh, you can trace my roots all the way back to Spain and, and during the Spanish Inquisition in 1492 when many Jews were expelled from Spain. Some of them went west towards the New World which is now the United States. And some of them went east, wandered the Middle East, and eventually ended up in Israel. So we can basically trace our roots back to the same place. Latinos here in America and in the Western Hemisphere, and Jews in Israel, such as myself. I have to say that the Israeli community, as far as I have seen here in Southern California, they do a great job. It's amazing because they are the ones who reach out. Most of the time, I see that, it's, that it is the Israeli community who puts these things together and brings us in to their universities, to their groups, to their festivities, and they're always reaching out and always having this perspective of unity and tolerance and, and, and understanding of, the, uh, of one another's uh, cultures and, and differences as, mu as much as similarities. For Latinos, we need to make sure that the U.S. Israel relationship is on our agenda in addition to education, in addition to immigration, in addition to housing. We have to make sure that the Latino community understands its role on international affairs. 
So we can learn a lot from each other. And these are the bonds that tie, I think, the state of California and the state of Israel. And as Latinos and Jewish Americans and, and Israelis come together, learn from each other, the bondness and bringing each other closer, you know, only serves humanity much better. Burrito or falafel? Burrito. Come on. What kind of question is that? <laughs> I'll take a burrito over falafel any day. Maybe that'll get me in trouble with uh, the Israeli diplomatic corps, but, uh, you know, I have to stick to my truth. Can I have both? <laughs> I think the jury's still out on that. I, have to, I think I have to say falafel, but uh, they're both good. That's my diplomatic answer. I had the best falafels, uh, no doubt about it, in Jerusalem, you know, and I, I must have ate, God knows what, 20 of them, I kept popping them into my mouth. But a good kosher burrito is always good with me. Well, How about a burrito with falafel in it? Yes! Why has that not come up? That's you know, that's I mean, a, of course. I was just saying, if we could have like a, what do you call it, like a taco with cream <laughs> cheese and lox. Evenu shalom alechem, evenu shalom alechem. Evenu shalom alechem. Evenu shalom, shalom, shalom alechem. Hey! <laughs>